With number 24 TCU coming to Norman to visit the number two Sooners on Saturday night, several questions were going to be answered. First of all, would OU avenge their last home loss three years ago in the season opener? Number two, how would OU's number one scoring offense fare against the top defense in the nation? And finally, what about that number one ranking in the nation? Would OU win convincingly enough to claim the top spot? Coming off the bye week, the Sooners were well rested and looking to improve to 57-2 at home under Coach Bob Stoops. And it didn't take the Sooners long to find a hole in the vaunted TCU defense. Only the third play of the game, Sam Bradford found a huge tight end running free. Jermaine Gresham went 66 yards for the apparent score. The holding penalty would bring the ball back to the 28. That would be Gresham's only catch of the game. But a few plays later, Bradford pump faked and found Joaquin Iglesias open in the end zone for the 24-yard touchdown. Just over two minutes in, OU led 7-0. Iglesias finished with four catches for 63 yards. But if there's one thing the Sooners have struggled with this season, it's kickoff coverage. And wouldn't you know it, on OU's very first kickoff, TCU's Aaron Brown takes the kick and goes streaking down the sideline, all the way to the 11-yard line before being caught by Lindy Holmes. OU would keep the Horned Frogs out of the end zone. TCU would kick the field goal. OU led 7-3. On their second drive of the day, the Sooners would methodically drive down the field 80 yards in 4 minutes and 40 seconds. This 26-yard pass to DeMarco Murray over the middle would OU down to the 8. Chris Brown would eventually score from 1 yard out. OU led 14-3 only 8.5 minutes into the game. But the running game would prove ineffective throughout, yielding only 25 net yards. The passing game, on the other hand, well, it looked pretty darn good, thanks in large part to Sooners senior Manny Johnson. Bradford hit Johnson in perfect stride with a 76-yard touchdown with only one minute remaining in the first quarter. OU led 21-3. They say, hey, look, look what's coming up next. Meanwhile, the Sooners' defense was stellar. Late in the first, Nick Harris put his hat on the ball, causing the Jeremy Curley fumble, which was recovered by OU's Lindy Holmes. Horn Frogs turned the ball over four times. Sooners never did. In the second quarter, the Sooners' offense would bog down. The Horn Frogs would look every bit like the nation's top defense until Manny Johnson got loose on the sideline and sped 55 yards to pay dirt. OU led 28-3 at the half. At the break, Bradford had already thrown for 284 yards and three touchdowns. Midway through the third quarter, OU drove 87 yards in only two minutes and eight seconds. Capped off by who else but Manny Johnson. This time, Bradford throws the quick little pass and a plethora of perfectly executed blocks Leaves Manny in the middle, all by himself racing toward the end zone. This time from 63 yards out. OU led 35-3. Johnson caught five passes for a school record 206 yards. Bradford threw for a career best 411 yards and four touchdowns. Bob Stoops gets win number 101. So the Sooners do what no other top four team could do this weekend. Avoid the upset. OU wins 35-10. Afterwards, Stoops praised Manny Johnson's performance. I told him that's one of the best performances by a wide receiver we've had here in 10 years. You know, I'm always careful to say the best because I'm liable to forget one or two, but it's, it's, it ranks up there as with about any we've had. Yeah, I wouldn't think I no, – nobody, I don't think we're playing that have a, a night like that, but you just got to go out and play, have a great practice. I mean, we knew they'd be man, so we knew the opportunity would be there, but I don't think any, any one person would think they'd do some stuff like that. You know, it feels good. Uh, you know, the coach was telling us about their defense on Monday, the number one defense in the nation. And, you know, I kind of got excited to play them because, you know, playing the best defense, and I don't know how many times a season you get to do that or how many times in your career you get to play against the best defense in college. But to play the way we did tonight, I feel like uh, it's very successful. I feel we played good. You know, we came up with some good turnovers, uh, stripped the ball, interceptions. You know, we uh, put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. So, uh, we emphasize that, put a pressure on the quarterback, you know, get him out of his comfort zone and it'd be easy on our back. So we did that tonight. Well, it's, it's always a process. I, 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 you feel good. We've, we've played overall pretty well. So it's you, you're getting into conference play now. You just have to keep getting sharper, you know. And as you practice and as you play, you, you hope you, you clean some things up and that you, you continue to play better as, you, as you're challenged more. So every week we hear, well, this should be the Sooners' biggest test of the season. Well, we won't hear that next week when the Sooners head to Baylor to begin Big 12 Conference play. Reporting from Norman, Damon Fontenot, News OK TV.